Hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're just outside of Foundation here. We did a little bit of walking around of Foundation in the last episode. I was looking for Sergeant Radcliffe. I never did find him. Uh, I'm sure he's in there somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to go back in there and look around for him some more. Uh, what are we going to do with this episode? Um, <laughs> I don't know, to tell you the truth. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, I could go back to my camp, and uh, we could uh, set up the uh, bar for Beckett and get started on his stories. Um, I mean, that sounds like a good a thing to do as anything else, right? Um, I don't think there's any reason for me to walk from here back to uh, my camp, because I've done it so many times already. And I don't know if we're going to see anything new by doing that. Uh, I will say that one thing we have not done is we have not gone back to um, the uh, Overseer's house to uh, kind of check on her to see, you know, how she's doing, see what she thinks about everything uh, now that we've, uh, that we've done everything. So let's just go check in on her. Another person that we could check in on post-heist and see what's up with her. And then maybe, I don't know. Um, I was going to say maybe travel on up to uh, Crater to see how they're doing now that we've snubbed them. Um, but maybe we'll just see if any game-related thing sends me up there rather than taking a big long trip up there on, on our own. Uh, here's that photo opportunity thing. I'm not too interested in this reputation grind stuff. We'll just pop our head in here and say hi, see how she's doing. I mean, I guess we're pretty much done with her, really. What time is it in the game world? Um, data. Yeah, it's 9.13 p.m. I think she's in bed. Did she go to bed early? Uh, somebody's walking around. Here is a... Imported Chinese Panda. Do I need this for my little challenge here? Let's see. Collector. Oh, we've already gotten that one. Yeah, I figured as much. We need Bumble Bear, a pristine teddy bear, Rad Bear, and a stuffed Polar Bear for our teddy. That's just for our teddy bears. We have all kinds of other things still to get. I mean, her place is kind of nice, especially compared to um, other places. Here's some military fatigues here that at one point I wanted. Let me go ahead and take those. If we modify those and put some shielding in them, they'd give us more charisma. Do I even want more charisma nowadays? I don't know. I wanted charisma for some, some of those reputation quests. But uh, I don't know if I still wanted to tell you the truth. But we'll pick it up anyway since I've looked for it for so long. There's a book that I cannot interact with. Another book on the ground we can't interact with. Yeah, I think they've done a nice job here. What's this under the... Now see, that's baloney. Look at that. You see a piece of paper underneath of a... Of a... Whatever that is. And you think, ooh... Mysterious note. No, it's just decoration. It's just decoration. Well, I hear her walking around. I'm assuming it's her. Maybe she, I guess, where is she? She in the basement here? She is down here. Just hanging out with Davenport. Overseer, what do you have to say for ourselves now that we've done this quest? So, it's done. A vault full of gold. You can't really ask for a better symbol of prosperity, can you? Hmm, yeah. Couldn't have done it without you. Or a bunch of idiots guarding a big pile of worthless junk. Yeah, it's a real American dream. Or just like Vault Tech would have wanted. Look at us prepared for the future. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Shouldn't I be the one saying that? You made contact with the newcomers. You assembled a team. You got into that vault. 
All I did was give you a firm shove out the door. It's what overseers do, I guess. I guess. But yeah, it was now mostly me. Now I think me. it's time we talked about what happened in there. I heard you made some tough calls. I'm curious. Why choose Foundation to share the gold with? I have my thoughts, but uh, I want to hear yours. Well, they're honest, hardworking, and have families to take care of. They deserved it. It was them or a bunch of backstabbing raiders. No contest there, or I have my reasons. Let's leave it at that. No, nope, it's pretty much this one. It's them or a bunch of backstabbing raiders. I'm not going to side with scummy raiders. They suck. Fair enough. I have a feeling we'll be dealing with the raiders for a long time to come. But that was probably going to be true whether or not they got any gold. I see a lot of promise in that settlement, those people. I think you did the right thing. So, with the mystery of Vault 79 solved and the gold recovered, maybe it's time to start thinking about what kind of future we all want to make. Hmm. Just doing my part, Overseer. Or a break from you bossing me around? Sounds like heaven. Or, uh, I've been wondering, do you think Vault Tech planned for us to find Vault 79? I don't think they did, but that's an interesting question. I don't know. But we'd be fools if we didn't think it was a possibility they considered. I'm done worrying about the societal preservation program. The right and wrong of it. Whether we're just following their plans or not. That's why I'm not going anywhere. And I hope you won't either. Well, I'm sure you've got other more important things to do than listen to me preach about my mission as overseer. Come and visit any time if you need me. I'll be here, keeping an eye on Appalachia as best I can. Hmm. I wonder how, like, safe she is here, really. Like, I mean, you know, I was just thinking to myself, well, we survived, you know. There were going to be nuclear bombs dropped. So we went into the vault, and we lived in the vault for how long, I don't know. And then we came out. And we've managed to survive. And so she and I are still alive here. Uh, me and my pink suit and my cool hat. Um, but I think about her, and I mean, she's got this nice little house here. And I guess really if things get really, really, really bad, she can come down here and lock herself up in this cage, even though she doesn't have any provisions down here. Um, but like, you see what's out there. Super mutants and ghouls and scorched and raiders and I mean there's just all kinds of bad nasty stuff out there um is she safe here you know um and, and what's her life gonna be I mean if you really try to think of it as like uh, a thought experiment if this were to happen in real life I mean she's got such a nice place here but look she's just got this basically this flimsy wooden door here that separates her from the horrors of Appalachia I mean, where's she getting her food from? Um, hell, where's she getting her electricity from, for that matter? How, how does she have electricity? Um, I mean, maybe there's a generator running outside that I didn't notice before. But, um, I don't know. Just, uh, just interesting to think of those things. I mean, she's done. You know, she's, she's done being the overseer, and now she's basically retired, and... She's going to live out the rest of her life there in that place. I mean, does she get restless and go out and and explore? But, I mean, that's such a dangerous thing. I mean, even our character, a hardened, uh, you know, explorer, adventurer, you know, killer, uh, still could die out here. And, I mean, look what's right out her doorstep here. I mean... You know, I mean, there could be who knows what down there in Sutton. So anyway, just some thoughts. Now I'm curious to see if she does have some kind of generator out here. There we go. She's got a fusion generator, so she's going to be fine, power-wise. So, let me look at the map here, see where we are in the world. Uh, we're up here, and... 
Okay, there's the Wayward. Let's take a walk over to the Wayward. It's been suggested that I uh, pay a visit to the Wayward. Let's go do that. We'll just see how dangerous it is out here, just right outside of her doorstep. I mean, I don't think that she's like, you know, taking little shopping trips into the town. A piece of paper here. Shopping list. That's so funny. I just said I don't think she takes shopping trips into town, and I find a shopping list. God willing, we can weather this just like any other storm that blows through. I couldn't get the shift off from the precinct. Tanya actually drove out to pick me up. But I made a list of what we probably need. Loaf of bread. Bottled water. Toilet paper, in quotes. Tons of booze. Plastic sheeting, more plywood. Wait here for me, love ya. Is this something that we saw before? I'm gonna scroll through my huge list of notes here because I wanna know if we've seen this before. I don't remember whether I saw this before or not. And then when I find something like this, I'm like, is this part of a larger story? Or is this just something that's sitting here? So we're gonna scroll down through this. Look for shopping lists. There it is. So we have seen this before. <laughs> oh, it's a different shopping list. <laughs> okay, this this shopping list has more beer, smokes, meat, paper plates, napkins, and beans. So um, I'll take this one, and now we have two shopping lists. Hmm. Ooh, here's a teddy bear. Stuffed polar bear. Oh my gosh, I think that's one that I need, isn't it? By golly, it is. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> I was thinking, you know, when I saw stuffed polar bear on that list, I thought to myself, hmm, where would I find a stuffed polar bear in this world? <laughs> Apparently, in this stinking trailer. Well, that's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. All right, well... We're at 25 of 35 items on that uh, collector's challenge thing here. Um, I need to find a Nuka-Cola Orange, Nuka-Cola Wild, and then some more Tails. And I have no idea where I'm going to find these, man. I mean, obviously, I could look online for these things. But what fun is that? And then more Unstoppables comics. Boy, apparently these are hard for me to find. I only found this one. Where are the others? Nobody knows. Well, I'm sure somebody knows. I don't know. All right. We are uh, making our way over to the Wayward. That's what we're doing. So, at least right now, Sutton seems pretty quiet. Looking like maybe she's found herself a nice little place to hang out. I think that was her parents' house that she's living in now. I think she said that. So I wonder... Do we get to see the effects of the gold on Appalachia as time goes on? Um, will that be the focus of a future DLC? Um, because right now, the only effect I see is that now I have 500 gold bullion in my pack somewhere. And I could use it to buy some crap. I don't see any rebuilding of society, and how could I? If this was my own world, and mine alone then I could maybe see that kind of thing happening. But since this is a shared world and I'm sharing this world with people who are just entering the game, just starting the game, or who are, um, you know, who haven't completed that mission yet, where you get into Vault 79, where you can't, like, have the world suddenly start looking different as a result of the gold, because then that wouldn't make any sense story-wise to other people. So... Patron, patron. Well, well, well. You hear? 
Couple hunters found the treasure. Vault full of gold, apparently. Wouldn't it be nice for someone like that to pop by our little establishment? Now, what can I get you? Who are you talking to? Um. Huh. Let's see. Well, any leads on other treasures? Um. You were willing to give me the key card to the cash. Are you not here to strike it rich like everyone else? No, doll. Appalachia's home to me. Always has been. There was no way I was staying away for long. I presumed I'd only be gone a couple of months. But I kept hearing stories about plagues and monsters and whatnot. When I heard everyone was finally coming back because of some treasure, I figured the monsters and all must have been made up to scare people off. Seems I just vastly underestimated the general populace's level of desperation. So I came back to sell them all drinks and to finally be home again. Okay. Oh, goody, the game's still doing this. Any uh, leads on other treasures? Not since the big one was finally dug up. But I learn anything juicy, I'll be sure to pass it along. You do that. All right. Come back when you need to work out your drinking muscles. I already got a couple patrons here. It's very, very quiet in here. <laughs> Patron. Saul. Hey, Saul, what's up? So, they weren't lying after all. There is a treasure in Appalachia. Wonder what that'll mean for us. Anyway, what's up? Mm -hmm. Just saying hi. How you doing, man? Yeah, a lot better now I'm out of that pit. But Dutch has spotted me a couple stems, so I'm not too worried. I've had worse. Bounce back just fine. Just takes time, you know, which is the one thing I've got plenty of. Okay. Yep. I'll be going now. Talk to you later. We already talked to him about that other stuff. Cherise? Hey, if Foundation or Crater is ever gunning for you, hit me up. I don't remember this person. The mercenary for hire? Level six? I know a lot of people in the right places. We might be able to help each other out. Okay, well, I mean, if you say so, but, um... I can't interact with you, so it's not like I could hire you or anything. Who the hell are you? You 76ers are interesting people. Mm-hmm. Hey, if Foundation or Crater is okay. ever gunning for you, hit me up. Whatever you say. Here's old Mort. How's it going, Mort? Did you hear? Someone found the damn treasure and it turns out to be gold. <laughs> How useless is that? A cave full of snack cakes would be more productive. Ah. Someone else's problem. But what's going on? Mm. Okay, don't have anything. Some other time then. We already asked him all those other things. So I was told to go upstairs and speak with somebody up here. And I believe that's the dude <laughs> right there. Oh my gosh. You can never have enough gold. You can never have enough gold. Man, he's practically see-through. Golly, that is one bright, bright light. What the hell, game? All right, Smiley, let's interact. Come right over, friend. Avail yourself of my genuine gold bullion. Mm-hmm. Um, how did... Well, let's start with a nice outfit. <laughs> I am the truest of patriots, and nothing says America more than a pile of gold. Am I right? So, can I help you showcase your own American spirit? Mm, dude. Oh. What the? Oh, man, I don't get to ask him? So, um, we could pay him caps and get gold in exchange. I understand. Not everyone can afford my wares. He's got a West Virginia belt buckle. It's pretty cool. All that gear in Vault 79 can be yours for the right price. All that gear. Hey there, friend. Can I interest you in some gold bullion? How'd you get gold bullion? 
Here and there, I've got a thousand friends. Hopefully, you're one too. <laughs> Don't worry about the specifics. Think of all you can get with it. The Secret Service has a lot of very exclusive, very powerful tech, right? So, let's do some business. Okay. So, we've got this guy I here. No, I can see that glint in your eyes. Who, I guess we just simply can trade in caps for gold. Um. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's great and all. Um, but, um, you know, you don't, you don't get any bonus for, uh, <laughs> for paying more caps. It seems like if you pay 6,000, maybe you get more than, you know, a thousand for 50, but no, no matter what, no matter how many you get, how much you pay, it's the same ratio. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Okay. So there's a guy here that I could get gold from. Okay. Um, I can't say that. I'm really too jazzed about gold, to tell you the truth. I don't know. Um, I guess I just really haven't seen anything that I'm that interested in uh, have a deal for you? in buying with the gold. But I guess it's good to know that I could trade in my caps for gold. I mean, because I could always get more caps, right? Uh, right now I've got um, 17,000, almost 18,000 caps. I mean, what else am I going to do with those caps? They're just sitting there. You I don't can, know. Let's get some. Like you could use let's get some, some gold, gold from him, I guess. Am I right? Right. Maybe I'll. Uh... Lucky for you, I haven't run out. Yet. Maybe I'll see something I want. Here, take six thousand caps. Uh huh. You happen to get a sense if he was the kissing. You are truly a remarkable individual, and I should know. It takes one to know one, as my dearest mama would always say. I'll try to act okay. Way. Thanks. Thank you so That's all I've got at the moment. Check back every week, friend. I'll have more for you then. So every week we could come and exchange caps for gold. All that gear in Vault 79 can be yours for the right price. All right. Well, I got a lot of gold. Yep. All kinds of gold. Hey, how's it going? A vault full of gold, ready to pour over Appalachia. I'm sure everyone will behave totally rationally regarding this sudden new influx of wealth. Now, what can I do for you? <laughs> oh, sarcastic robot. I don't know, what can you do for me? You can stand here and look at me. Just stand here and look at each other. Yep, that's what we can do. Stand here and look at each other. Well, I wanted to see if there was like a conversation we could have with her, but um, let's try that again. Hey, something up? Or you just want to gab? Um, well, that's it. Throw one back for me. Throw one back for me. Okay, well, now we know of a person where we could get gold if we, if we want gold. This is all very exciting. Very, very exciting. So now, let's see. Hmm. Um, trying to think of what it is that I want to do once I leave this place. I'm trying to remember if there was something else that I wanted to do uh, in this part of the world, and I don't think that there is. Um, so. I guess we will go ahead and go back to our camp and um, I mean I guess we could start the Beckett missions let's go back to our camp anyway we will um, stop by the uh, armor workbench and see what it takes to craft this Chinese armor. See if it is something that we're interested in or not. Oh, we got guitar player here. Place looks empty without Sophia's console there. 
Okay, let's see here. Craft. And Chinese stealth armor. There it is. Wow, we can craft it. We have plenty of stuff. So Chinese stealth armor. Blend with the environment while sneaking. Reduced falling damage. Prevents damage and disease from waterborne hazards. It's got pretty good damage resist. And then the stealth helmet, which is actually just kind of cool looking. Yeah, let's make it. Make it level 50. Ooh. We could even make that. This is pretty good stuff. It doesn't weigh that much either. Okay, we made that. Make the helmet. Okay, cool. We just made ourselves a Chinese stealth armor here. Okay. And uh, we are going to try it on. So right now, um, apparel-wise, we're at 147, oh, 163, 147, and 23. If I put this on, what does it replace? It replaces all my other stuff with all my other bonuses. You know, the world's kind of amazing. Mm -hmm. If you stop and take a look at it. So, I think it's pretty badass looking, really. But, unfortunately... Hello. I bet I could write a whole story about you without you saying a word. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I lose a lot of my bonuses with this. Uh, bonuses being... Oh, you know, I like this... Um, regenerated... Regenerating strengthened robot right leg. I like that this regenerates my health. Uh, I like that this... Um, where is it? I like this chameleon heavy combat armor chest piece that lets me blend in with the environment. But this is supposed to do it too. See, this one here lets me blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. But this one just lets me blend in with the environment while I'm sneaking. But it also looks like it's while I'm not moving too. It just doesn't say it. So that's cool. So I got that perk. Uh, I also say that this doesn't give me the same protections as the other armor, but it does help a lot with radioactivity. Whereas before, I believe I had this on my chest. I had, um, let's see, I had that on my chest. I had this pocketed thing on my left leg, give me a little bit of extra carry. I guess we have to 310. Uh, I believe... I was wearing the Mutant's Wood left arm. Now, I was wearing this mostly just for the Charisma, but if I didn't care for the Charisma, I would probably be wearing this, which gives me a little bit more space. And, um, what else would I be wearing? The Regenerating Robot Right Leg. I like that. That also gives me, gives me a little bit of strength, which gives me more carry weight, so I like that. And then I need something on my... Left leg, is it? No, not my left leg. I've got something on my left leg. On my right leg. And I've got something on my left arm. I need something on my right arm. And I, this thing right here, I guess, gives me more carry weight. So I like the extra carry weight a lot. And you can see here, before, with the uh, Chinese uh, stealth armor, this was at 140 and this was at 140. With these, I'm at 163 and 173 instead, but this is considerably reduced there. So there's trade-offs. And uh, right now... Uh, this is what I look like. <laughs> but if I put on my uh, pink pants suit, I uh, look like this instead. With that cool helmet on. So, it's, it's cool to have this stuff, sure. Um, but I think for most practical purposes, I would rather wear what I've been wearing. Um, I'm going to keep it on me, though. I mean, it only weighs five, so it's not terrible. I'm going to put my hard hat away. I haven't been wearing that. Uh, I'm going to put... Let's see here. i got resistant undershirt and jeans. That gives me extra charisma. This Under Armour doesn't do anything. I'm not sure why I'm carrying it. Uh, the Costume Skull... I don't need that. 
because I've got this thing that will prevent from airborne and waterborne hazards, so we'll get rid of that. The beret, I won't be wearing that if I'm going to be wearing the helmet. And then the fatigues, um, let's see what we could do with these fatigues, if anything. Oh, wait a minute, I also wanted to see, can I put this, uh, the resistant undershirt and jeans on? Yeah. You 76ers? You guys are something else. If you look at these numbers here, you'll see that putting on the resistant undershirt and jeans does something. Watch, the, watch these numbers right here. See that? changes it a little bit, but it doesn't change these numbers down here. But just simply wearing this gives me more charisma, intelligence, and luck, so I mean, why wouldn't I wear that? It doesn't make me take anything else off in its place, so it's kind of cool. So, um, let's see here. Modify, repair. Oh, uh, hold on. Hold on, my guy's thirsty. Hold everything. Whoops. Hold the phone. Gotta drink something. Oh, I didn't want to do craft, I wanted to modify. So, the... Oh, I could... Uh, let's see here. The military fatigues. Standard lining. I could put resistant. Or treated on it. Either one of them give me charisma, intelligence, and luck. Uh, the treated lining... The resistant looks better to me. Oh, the resistant. Yeah, the resistant looks better in all regards. The damage resist is better. Um, it gives me charisma, intelligence, and luck instead of just charisma and intelligence. Uh, it weighs a tiny, tiny bit more. So we're going to make resistant lining. So that's kind of cool. So now... Right now, if we look at my... Um, Look at my stats. We'll see. Charisma's five. Intelligence, five. But if we put on the military fatigues, what does that take off? The pantsuit? No, it doesn't. It takes Okay, so I either wear military fatigues or resistant undershirt and jeans. It's one or the other. And they seem to have I mean the exact same stats I mean there is no difference the difference is is that this one for some reason is worth 30 and this one is worth 15 but they do exactly the same thing so there's no reason for me to carry both of these uh, but I'm gonna hang on to this one um, because maybe I'll find some more, uh, plans for it at some point and I can improve it further. Maybe. Like, if I could find shielded lining, well, that's a good thing. But I don't know how I'm gonna find it. So we're just gonna go ahead and drop this off in here. Not that it weighs all that much, but there's no sense in carrying something around that I'm not gonna wear. Store that. This I'll carry around in case I need to slap something on for more charisma. And this I'll carry around in case I need some super duper ra resistance to radiation. So I guess that's what I'm going to fly with now. Yeah. Um... Let's take a look at some things here. You know this furious suppressed hunting rifle. I mean really want to join a band one not going to keep this. Not unless I could modify it and make it a um, automatic receiver, and you can't. You can't make this automatic. Boy, there's a lot of receivers, though. Boy, I don't have enough steel to do a lot of this stuff. But none of these are automatic, so there's really no sense in me keeping this. So... We're gonna put this away. We're gonna put this away. And I'm still running with the same things I've been running with for a long time. 
long, long, long time. I've got this here, it's level 50. This is level 30. I would have to like, yeah, I can't, I can't get this up to level 50. I'd have to make it again or something. I can pad it, which reduces damage from explosions, but I don't think I care about that. Makes it a little heavier. Doesn't seem to last as long either. You can put Nuka Cherry paint on it, but I can't see it anyway because I'm wearing an outfit. I don't think I could make any more changes to this. I don't know what kind of mods go with this thing. Okay. Um, I mentioned maybe, let's see here. Let's go up and talk to her and just see, just see what other kind of stuff she has for us. I don't think she really has anything interesting, but let's go see. Lean back and take a deep breath. It'll all be okay. So what's her story? <laughs> I had the craziest day, and in the middle of that, I found something. Something you might like. Oh, yeah? Well, weapons aren't really my gig, but I got a lead on one, if you're interested. Oh, yeah? Uh, let's see here. How'd you find out about this weapon? I don't know what it is about weapons, but people love talking about them. On and on and on. Okay. Um, is there anything dangerous nearby that I should know about? A lot of those big bruisers. Your pals and mine. Ooh, super mutants. <laughs> oh, super mutants. Alright, well, where am I going? You get to go to one of the picturesque local dams. Fun. Okay. I guess, got it, I'll be back with that weapon in no time. Let's see if this thing's worth a damn. I knew it. Huh, damn. I knew you'd be interested. Best of luck. Okay. What do you got you for me? You take care of business, and I'll make sure you get your reward. Deal? I get a reward? I thought the weapon was the reward. What are you talking about? Okay. We need to retrieve a weapon case. Well, that's a little bit different, I feel like. Well, let's see. It's in that direction. Lucky find. I'm hoping a friend staying at my camp. Show it on the map. There it is. The crevasse dam. It's a bit of a trek. Let's, um... What's going up here? Check this out. It's supposed to retrieve a weapon case. Do I get the weapon? Or does she just pay me for the case that I bring back to her? I don't know. We'll find out. But, I mean, it looks like she just has us basically go on a bunch of fetch quests, but... I don't know. We'll do a few of them. Okay, whatever we're looking for is in that direction. Colors are interesting here. Kind of like it, actually. I like this time of day. This place is usually heavily populated with, I think, super mutants. Yep, there's one up there. <laughs> you see him fall down, that was awesome. So I guess we're gonna have to go in here to get whatever it is we've come to get. Saw it. Come on out. Come on. Come on, little mutant hound. I see you in there. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. It'll just sting a little bit. There you go. Is he standing right there? He's just standing right by the door. I'm getting hungry. Oh, he's 
one's getting hungry, huh? There's some hound meat down here you could chow on. Okay, so whatever I'm looking for is up there. Supervisor workstation. So I have to assume that I've already been here and looked at that. Who designed this place? Some pretty good stuff on him. Hmm. <laughs> What's up, dude? Somebody's still up top, I think. Yeah, I actually remember that body there from when we came here before. Here's a weapon case. Okay, we got the weapon case, so I guess we don't get to see what the weapon is. Big rig trailer key. Pretty sure that we already got that at one point and um, used it. So I don't need to get it again. Bring it back to, uh, what's her face here? Oh, there's somebody here. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Bring it back to this person who has no name, which bugs me. What the hell is her name? <laughs> she should have a name, damn it. No name. Kind of hazy out here. All right. Time to be upset anymore. Let it all go. Just let it all go. Okay, trying to interact with you, lady. Back with my little prize. Mm, I've had dogs that can fetch half as well as you do. I'd offer you a bone, but I'm afraid I'm out of the moment. All right. Well, we got a legendary weapon that I'm not interested in. Some big heavy thing to carry around. So. Do we get a legendary item every time we do this particular quest for her? Hey, what's tough out there? Don't make it tough inside yourself, too. <laughs> I love the things she says. It cracks me up. You've already done so much. Mm. Rest here for a bit. Relax. Enjoy what you've built. Mm, thanks. Okay, well, um, I think that uh, we should probably take advantage of the fact that... Um, we can trade in some stuff. Um, I hate to go to White Spring because it's usually super busy, even though I don't see a bunch of people running around over there. I mean, is that really the closest uh, train station I could go to? Go up to Berkeley Springs up here. Um, let's just go here. I have so... Oh, that's a nice picture. So much legendary stuff uh, that I need to trade in little by little since we can only get 150 script per day, I believe. So, we'll just run up here and take care of this real quick before I'm done playing today. So first, we'll go here, grab these weapons that I'm not... I mean, look at this. A sword, a revolver, a revolver, a revolver, a revolver. <laughs> look at all these things, man. <laughs> Um, God, there's so many. A walking cane. Freaking missile launcher. Golly, look at all this stuff I've got. A tire iron, a spear, a sword. Who cares? An axe. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who would love to have these things, but I'm not one of those people. What? This item is currently unavailable for use? Give me a freaking break. 
Whatever. Just make it impossible for me to get rid of all this heavy crap I'm carrying around. Oh well. Not gonna happen today. And that will not fit because it's too heavy. Lovely. Just lovely. Well, I um, I didn't see any note that there was a problem with um, with uh, the uh, legendary script exchange, but apparently there is. So we will try to trade some of that crap in. For it's going to take me forever to trade all that crap in. I mean, I get so many legendary weapons and armor now that I'm just overflowing with them. Uh, I mean, I could put them up for sale, but I don't want that stuff sitting in my inventory waiting forever. Uh, hoping that somebody buys it. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, well, I'm going to end this episode here when we come back next time. I think I will uh, start on the Beckett thing unless something else comes up that I want to try. Uh, but I'm kind of eager to see uh, Beckett's story, so we'll do that next time, probably. <laughs> Thanks for joining me again, everybody. Hope you join me again in the next episode.